It's the 64 Showcase! Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, finally getting back to Mario Party 3 after a couple months of distractions and other such things. Things don't always go as planned, it's been a little while since March, but regardless, we are finally moving on to Mario Party 3 Story Mode. The final story mode that I actually hadn't played through, which would be, as promised, Donkey Kong Story Mode. Game setup will take place before story mode begins. We are getting right into this. Of course, the gorilla himself is our character of choice. And we are going to be playing on hard difficulty. You can actually unlock a difficulty mode past uh, hard. I did not remember that at first, but I don't have access to it right now since I assume I need to clear it on hard first. So we're gonna do that. Choose our minigame settings, of course, we will be playing all the minigames, and that's really all there is to this setup. Are these settings okay? Yes, they are. Series of Lakitus. And off we go. This is basically just the uh, opening cutscene that we've already seen, but let's go back through it anyway. In the center of the vast universe, a remarkable bright star was born. Except in this case, we can actually manually skip through the text instead of it all being automatic. This star that was born only once in a thousand years, the Millennium Star, according to legend, whoever possessed the mystical star was destined to become the superstar of the universe. However, since the Millennium Star was but a newborn, it fell from the starry sky. That'd be pretty dangerous if every time a star was born, it just had the potential of falling on some unsuspecting planet. Around this time, Mario and his friends were all happily relaxing. When... Smash. Suddenly a Millennium Star came crashing down, and as usual in the Mario Party games, everyone starts to bicker among themselves for some reason, because they're all terrible people. Mario and his friends began arguing, seeing this Lakitu came bound with a toy box, yada yada, so on and so forth. And everyone finds Mario Party in the box. It's a little weird that Mario Party itself is a game within Mario Party? That's right, they could play Mario Party to see who's the biggest superstar. So, like, are they... I mean, these boards, like, exist in places, as established by other stories in the past, but... I don't know, maybe after their adventures, Mario started a franchise starting selling Mario Party board games? I mean, it would be a good way to make money, he's famous enough. Anyway. Suddenly the Millennium Star gave off a brilliantly bright flash of light. And everything went all crazy. With that bright flash, Mario and his friends were transported inside the toy box. And Tumble came down and stole all their souls. Apparently. <laughs> Greetings, I am the Millennium Sto Star. Why, what a nice mustache and eyebrows you have for being a newborn star. <laughs> you must pass my test to prove yourself worthy of possessing me. Now here's something new that wasn't in the opening cutscene. You must adventure across many lands and collect the star stamps. Each star stamp represents a different sort of trait. If you collect all seven, I shall accept you as the top superstar in the universe. First, you must set forth to get the wit star stamp. You gotta prove yourself to be super smart and all that. I heard that, I've gotta go tell the great Bowser, says a little baby Bowser Koopa Kid face person. <laughs> Welcome everyone officially to story mode on hard difficulty. 
If you're ready, let's go to Chilly Waters. We can't really uh, pick any other uh, sort of option here. You won't let me go to a dual map right now. You won't let me go to the mini game room. You can go to the options, but we don't really need to do that. And if you want to know about star levels, select me. Sure. Star levels show how well you cleared an individual maps in the story mode. The star levels are divided into four levels, S, A, B, and C. If you are ever able to clear most of the maps with level S, you'll become the glorious miracle star. I think that about covers it. We'll just do your best. So yeah, we can check all our rankings from the other characters up here. Since Miracle Star seems to be the highest ranking, as implied. So since I did pretty darn well with Mario here, he is a Miracle Star. Luigi only got a great star, didn't really do particularly well on many of the maps. Uh, Peach was an Ultra Star, not quite up to the Miracle Star level. Yoshi ended up getting Miracle Star, so you can see there's a little leniency with getting the highest ranking. You don't have to be perfect. Like, I got a B here and I got a couple A's, but it still gave me Miracle Star status. Though, this is also on the easy game level, so that's probably also why. For example, Wario on normal difficulty, when I played through the game with him, Ultra Star, got a couple more B's, Though I got more S's, it looks like, but at the same time, the number of B level clears. You get too many of them and it does bring down your star ranking. I'm not going to go for a perfect game here or anything with Donkey Kong, especially since it is on hard difficulty. I probably, probably won't go terribly well, honestly. <laughs> but I am going to play my absolute best and... We will be moving on to the first board of story mode, Chilly Waters. For the Wit Star Stamp, we have to prove that we're the smartest. But uh, before I do that, just to be able to divide up my recordings in such as efficiently as possible, I'm going to take a brief pause here, and we will get back to that in a moment. All right, everything is set up and ready to go. We are heading on our way to Chilly Waters. Here we go. And there's good old Donkey Kong. Welcome, DK. Battle Royale round one is for the Wit Star Stamp. We gotta prove that we're the smartest superstar. You play the map on this round. Play play the map on this round map. Chilly waters. Snowmen. Penguins. Snowmen. Okay. Words. Words are difficult. But that's fine. Let's meet the challengers who are just basically randomly picked from the uh, original six Mario Party characters. Well, Luigi and Daisy aren't included because they have their own sort of roles to fill in the story mode, but... Uh, We'll get to that when we get to that. In story mode, the number of turns is set to 15, so a tad shorter than the usual 20 turn play. Though I find that Mario Party 3 tends to run kind of long in general, so 15 turns still is probably going to take a little while. The bonus option is on, the handicap option is off. You've chosen to use all mini games, and that's all there is to explain. Good luck, we are ready. Battle Royale, let's go. Welcome once again to Chilly Waters. It's been a little while since we've seen this place. This was the first round of the main tournament. And it is generally the first map that you'd probably play normally, starting up Mario Party 3. I've been waiting for you, DK, and nobody else. Welcome to the legendary Chilly Waters. In this snowy, freezing land, you'll battle to become the superstar. And just as promised, if you win here, you will get the, your card stamped with the Wit Star stamp. Before we begin, we have to determine the turn order, though. So, standard Mario Party fare. 
Boy, I'm going last. How about that? Honestly, going last sometimes has its advantages. If things play out poorly, you can adjust your turn a little more carefully. And of course, everyone gets 10 coins. Don't waste them. And good luck and try to become the superstar. Start the game! And as usual, we have Tumble showing us where the first star is. Up here, past the lake and the uh, skeleton key gate there. For some reason, that seems to be a fairly common starting point whenever I play through Chilly Waters. Anyway, before anything really gets going here, we're just going to take a look at our uh, options real quick, because i got a couple things to show off. First off, in story mode, of course, you can't switch controls, you can't add players, and you can't change yourself to computer player. Uh, I'm going to be keeping minigame explanations hidden just to save a little bit of time. And I've changed our movement speed and text speed options both to fast. Now that I'm not commentating on everything and I don't have to worry about keeping up with the game, uh, we're going to put those on their fastest level just to try to make things move along a little more smoothly. Uh, keeping saving after every turn on, we're going to keep computer player minigames shown. Uh, mostly because I don't trust them not to cheat off screen. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Beach, starting off strong and rolling a nine. Going by the Koopa Bank, heading up, trying to get to that star. Mario, rolling a ten, lots of high rolls here. I'm probably gonna roll like a two. It's gonna be the whole game, just rolling twos. And Mario gets to talk to Toad. He wants a skeleton key, so he's given all the items he can carry on the first turn. What? Two golden mushrooms and a dueling glove. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he didn't bribe Toad behind stage at all, Mario. Jeez. He is the former, former superstar, probably partaking in some, like, back alley shady deal. See, I a two. I told you I'd roll the two. He wants to reclaim some kind of glory, so he's cheating behind the scenes. Anyway, what's our first game? Frigid Bridges! Good! I'm terrible at this minigame. For some reason, uh, just between the way this game is performed and the way your controller works, it can be very difficult to judge where your character is and you just I fall off a lot like right there it didn't look like I moved too far to the left but uh yeah and see I went to turn up and Donkey Kong just walked off the edge I don't know if it's my controller I'm using a non-standard Nintendo 64 controller but um just in general I I don't get this mini game the computers stop me every time, especially since they're on hard. <laughs> Though Mario actually did fall off on there. That's a pretty rare occurrence, honestly. So yeah, probably don't expect me to win that minigame ever. Just saying. Anyway, next turn already. Princess Peach. Uh, losing more coins. Not really uh, making any much progress there. Generally, unless you can win of the first couple mini games, going for the star right away is not always advisable because you end up just wasting your time. Oh, and Yoshi gets the bank space. Jeez, thirty-three coins already thanks to that mini game win. Uh, two, nine. Okay. See if I psych it out enough. I can make it think that I want it to. Then it won't give me the two. Ah, uh, let's see. Four spaces. Ah, uh, let's go up to the item space. See what we can get. Oh, hey, baby Bowser. It's your lucky day. Answer me straight for a shot at getting an item. Do you like to study? Pfft, no. Two items, okay. A poison mushroom and a warp block. 
not the most terribly useful assortment, but I can make use of that, I'm sure. I want to stop someone from getting to the star too quickly. And poison mushrooms will come in handy. Or if I want to try to land on a specific space. Crazy Cogs! I actually don't know if we saw this minigame in the tournament. I don't remember it. Basically, you just gotta run around on a gear and uh, avoid the bullet bills as best you can. Whoops, I exploded. Mario and Yoshi, please carry me to victory. Generally, I feel like with the hard AI, I'm not going to do terribly great on the minigames, but we'll see. I, there's a couple I'm pretty good at. I'm also, like, way more familiar, just in general, with Mario Party 1 and 2 minigames, since they share so many minigames, but, you know. But, uh, Yoshi carried us through there, though that does mean two minigame wins for Yoshi already, so gotta watch out for him, he's got the coin lead right now, too. But yeah, I don't think that minigame showed up during the tournament at all, there were a couple that we missed. Definitely not the dual minigames, though. We saw all those a hundred thousand times. And trust me, we'll see them all a hundred thousand times again. Ah, oh, let's see. Mario using his... using the dueling glove. Okay, I thought he was going for a golden mushroom. Probably gonna give Yoshi a duel. He's got a lot of cash. Yeah. Betting a whole five coins. Wow. That is pretty crazy. Going for a Bowser toss, alright. That is the one thing I admittedly do not get with the AI in this game, is that if you're gonna go for a duel, you might as well go big. You might as well try to get as many coins as you want, because otherwise you just bet five coins and it is just a waste of everyone's time. <laughs> uh, who wins the Bowser toss? It looks like Yoshi won. Yoshi is definitely being the uh, minigame king here. Yeah, a little victory dance. You know what? I'm, I'm cool with Yoshi doing well. He got the superstar title stolen from him, so, you know. He deserves a little bit of glory. I mean, I still need to win, but... You know, it's Yoshi. What can you say? That 48 coins, though, that's, uh, that's nothing to sneeze at. He's got quite the coin lead, 51 coins now. Uh, let's see, where is everybody? I don't have enough coins for the star. Everyone's heading away from it anyway, except maybe Yoshi. I don't know if my warp block's gonna come in handy, and I don't know if I necessarily want to use my poison mushroom right now, so I'm just gonna hit the block and see what happens. Uh, well, I'm about to crack the ice regardless, so, item! It's your lucky day! Do you always clean your, keep your room clean? Absolutely not, and this one is truthful. <laughs> All the items you can carry, I probably should've used an item, and I got another poison mushroom. Well, okay, might as well use a poison mushroom next turn. But I cracked the pond. That gives me another chance to uh, loop around or maybe get the star, though, so that's pretty cool. And we got a one versus three, and I'm on the opposite end of things. Boulder Ball! Uh, I have no idea how well this is going to go, honestly. I don't think I've ever played the Hair Heart AI in this, uh, in this game. Okay, alright. Almost got a double there. Uh, get away! Ah, Peach is gonna make it. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Shucks. Honestly, sometimes the AI is pretty hard to beat. Other times they're completely stupid, but I'm not doing pretty well, well that well in general, so... Probably gotta pick up the pace here. Golden Mushroom being used by Mario, how about that?
Ah, uh, not the best roll. A 12 is not really anything spectacular. But he does get a happening space from that. Something I gotta look out for, too. I gotta try and get happening spaces. Is Mario gonna jump over the snowball? Nope. How about now? Okay. He apparently really wanted to move backwards one space. Yoshi! Rolling low. Mmm. Considering technically I'm... Well, actually Mario is farthest from the star. If I switch with Mario with the warp block, that kind of screws me out of getting the star. But I'm gonna use it anyway and see what happens. Also, I never used the warp block. I swapped with Yoshi, okay. That does put me a little ahead. Maybe. With enough luck here. Oh, a hidden block! Help out that! Getting a star! Alright. Free star, that puts me over 20 coins. So if I get a high roll, I could get a star again next turn. And if no one else lands on the ice. Wow, okay, that was the right move, I guess. Maybe I underestimated the warp block. I never use it. Ice rink risk! Here we go. I'm usually okay at this game. Yoshi, not doing hot. Mario almost landed. Ugh, icy. Uh, Mario, go away. Get away from me! No! Ah! I slipped. I'm the best. Yeah, you're the beast. Whatever. Okay. You know what? A uh, random hidden block, though? I'm still happy about that. Yo, she has 64 coins! Everybody celebrate! Yay! And Peach getting item space. Do you like to tease? Apparently she likes to tease, I don't know. Getting a Boo Bell, oof. That is going to be something to have to look out for. Mario does not have a skeleton key, but just his uh, space walking. Yoshi rolling high with a lot of coins still. I am really sorry my little dinosaur buddy, but I cannot take the chance of you people catching up to me. Interestingly, you can use the poison mushroom on yourself, in case you want to roll low. Like that! Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah. Title Toss, I actually don't remember if we saw this minigame either. Basically, you gotta try and just knock everybody out, and the easiest thing to do is to use big ground pounds to make giant waves. That minigame is ridiculously easy against the AI. <laughs> Admittedly, that's one of the easier ones. But yeah, I don't... Maybe we saw it once. I don't think we saw a lot of 1 versus 3 in general. Oh, look at that Boo Bell coming into play. Stealing coins from Yoshi, I'm guessing? Yep. The AI is a little smarter in this game than they are in Mario Party 2. Mario Party 2, they just in general would just go for first place no matter what. But they actually seem to be a little more into targeting people who actually have money. Probably actually gonna use my other poison mushroom on Peach this turn. Just to try and keep these people away from me as much as possible. I really want that star. I need that double star lead. I already have the inkling that, uh, actually Mario is heading right for the frozen lake, isn't he? Roll into two. If it were the last five turns, I would have triggered a battle just then. I mean, a duel. Alright, uh, map. Yeah, 
Mario is actually heading right for the lake, too. Um, they're... I think they're just about equal distance away, though. It's like four spaces and four spaces. Yeah, so... Um... Oh, I'm gonna use it. Might as well. Mario... There's no point in using it on Mario because he can use his Golden Mushroom to negate it. And he's probably going to end up using the Golden Mushroom next turn anyway. Uh, so I'm going to use it on Peach. Fair's fair. She's got her warp block. She might just warp right to me. Probably short-sighted. Two! Okay, cool. Yeah, no, two. I really love these roll really low rolls. I'm going to trigger Bowser just to spite everybody. Hey, Bowser! How you doing? Can you get me a Bowser suit? Uh, no, I guess not. 20 coins for Bowser. Yeah, that screwed me. Alright, there goes my money. I'm not getting the next star anyway, so. That could have gone better. But, you know, the fates decided they give, gave me a hidden block, so they're not going to give me any high dice rolls. Hey, line and sinker! I am on the one again, aren't I? Uh, okay. I am trying to remember how to control this minigame. Swim right into me. Thank you, Mario. Also, not a bad game to play against the AI. Honestly, they're pretty dumb when it comes to that. I'm getting some minigame wins in. Hopefully I can keep that streak going. Alright, everybody, just roll low. Stay away from me. I still have a minute chance. Oh, and the warp block got rid of the curse. I didn't know that would happen, actually. Yeah, of course she swapped with me. Because why wouldn't she? Oh, Jesus. I actually didn't know the warp block could get rid of the poison mushroom. Ah, oh, she slipped though. Take that. I thought it was only the mushroom items that could get rid of the other mushroom things. Uh, whatever. Bobbing balloons. Item mini game. Mario rolled low. He's not using his golden mushroom for some reason. Really wanted a skeleton key though, apparently. Uh, good for him, I guess. Yoshi! Hey, buddy. Didn't mean to use that poison mushroom on you before, it's just strategy is all. Uh, now I'm back here. Is there a point to trying? It's Peach is right there, Yoshi's heading right up there, Mario still has that golden mushroom he could possibly use. Um, you know what? I am going to forego that star for now, see if I can get some useful items. Item game! I'm in first, so my selection's not going to be the greatest. Swinging with sharks! Alright, just gotta time my jump. Time my swing. Oh. Yep! Yeah. Reverse mushroom, okay. Reverse Mushroom is actually a very strategic item. If I can get in the right spot, I could possibly walk backwards to the star. Maybe this can work out. I was actually thinking of getting that uh, lucky lamp and moving the star. Cosmic Coaster! I'm on a team with Mario, okay. Try to get my coin count back up. Ooh, wow, okay. Alright, okay, cool. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay. Whew, that was close. Almost frogged up there, but you know, that actually went pretty well. Mario's been winning a lot of mini games, though. Yoshi and Mario, definitely, like, coin champions here. 
Ah, uh, Peach made it to the star. Alright. You know what? That's fair. Yes, you did. You got it. And it's behind me. So you know what? I'm glad I got that reverse mushroom. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a one, though. I know that's what's gonna happen. It's like... I don't know. It's just the, th the way that this game would manage to taunt me. <laughs> Peach letting the snowball chase her, though. Probably letting her chase it as far as possible to try and get to that star. She actually covered a lot of ground there. Alright. Yoshi stuck heading up. And he makes it up the ice. Okay. Now! Please let me go backwards. Yes, maybe. Yep! A5. Cool. Yes, I would like a second star. That sounds delightful. Nice. Alright, okay. You know what? I'm, I'm doing pretty well for myself. And, wow. Okay. So... Can I get 20 coins in the next couple turns? I actually could go up. I wish I had more money. But, um... I'm gonna, the only bad side is that I have to go by the bank twice here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I wish I had more cash there. That would have been amazing. Oh, Paris off limit! Ah, awful tower. Alright. Paris off limit would have been actually a pretty good chance to get a lot of coins quickly. Now uh, this, you can get some extra coins here, so... Oh, hammer bro. Alright, alright, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm just right below that coin, apparently. Oh, come on. Yoshi, wow, okay. Yoshi got there very quickly. I got too focused on trying to grab the coin, that's my fault. Oh well. You know, I can't complain too much. Though so Yoshi's probably got two bonus stars locked up at this point. Peach rolling a six. She's probably gonna grab this next star. That's uh, not great. Not the best option for me. Mr. Man. Ooh, a battle game. Hmm. Interesting. How many coins are up for grabs? Standard 10. Alright. I don't have enough coins, so it's only going to be a, a little bit short. Depending how the, this goes for me. Storm Chasers. You know what? I might have a shot at this. Get out of my way! Jeez. Alright. Come on. Get out of Donkey Kong's way. He's a gorilla with a purpose and plan. Alright, I think I might have got that. Everyone awkwardly make your way back to your starting positions. Come on, yes! Alright, that just gave me a buttload of coins. Is it gonna be enough, though? I got the pity coin, too. 26, cool! So that gives me enough to get back past the bank space and maybe get the star, too. I roll, please. 
That's a two, but it gives me the bank space. Okay, you know what? I will take that. That, that, that is that is good. I just have to keep Peach from winning this next mini game, and I think I've got another star locked up. What do we got? Picture imperfect. Okay. Technically, I could cheat a little using my recording setup on this, but oh no, wait! I'm thinking of a different mini game. I'm thinking of Messy Memory. After the W. Okay. Alright. Whoops. Okay. And this one's basically impossible. <laughs> I think I did pretty good there, though. Hey, 36 points. Cool. You know what? I think Mario looks nice with glasses on. Makes him look a little more intellectual. Okay, suddenly I've got a lot of spare cash. 